Hello fellow traders and welcome to another quick dose of analysis on gold. Today uh, today we're going to we're going to expand uh, our trading senses just a little bit because there's something uh, happening um, and we're basically on the verge of having a, a breakout on the on the channel but uh, we're we're basically going to go on the dollar index uh, for now. As you can actually see here in front of you, I'm going to make this very, very quick so you, you can treat this as an, as an alert because it, there is basically an end of, uh, end of a minor cycle uh, going on right now and we're waiting basically for, for a trend to, uh, to end. Therefore, dollar index uh, 100 levels are posing as a sentimental levels, but, uh, but also basically 99 levels will actually again will actually go into it really really quickly okay we we basically have the minor uh, third uh, third impulsive wave right there and then we had the retracement towards the fourth wave which i uh, i marked it because i'm expecting a um, double uh, double zigzag right here a complex formation wxy which i marked of course a minute minute w within this minute we have um, minuets um, abc's so basically we have the a the a right here and then within this within this b of course we have the um, the retracement of uh, of a within the basically the sub minuet structure however um, by measuring with the Fibonacci expansion tools from A, A to B, we can determine basically the C's, uh, C's ending point. So, in other words, 100% one, uh, levels have been uh, have been touched, and then retracement, and then breach. So, what this is telling us is that uh, our next focus would be the 161.8 retracement on the Fibonacci expansion. So, this should be, of course, the end of the minute wave C because this is an expanded wave sub minute A sub minute B and then an extension uh, basically a double uh, basically a zigzag formation on the uh, towards the C right so we have basically the microwaves uh, formed one two three four and then five and what we're expecting right now on the dollar index very very soon to basically complete a new low and once that happens towards this 161.8 and 99 levels notice that we have we have basically a similar example right here on the left towards this channel this is what we're waiting for a breach of the channel and then a flag flag formation towards a continuation of the trend okay this should be of course our x right there on the on the top so in other words what we're waiting for is the the completion of this fifth fifth wave and then uh, uh, basically a retracement towards uh, towards that so basically an impulse corrective uh, and then another impulse completing uh, x or b within the within the minor um, within the basically the minor minor wave uh, four right so either we're gonna either this is going to be completed although i don't i don't really uh, think so because if i do if I do take a look at a larger picture, I do I do have it all mapped out here towards uh, towards basically minor wave four, um, re coming back and retesting this support before it uh, basically finalizes the full cycle towards the fifth um, the fifth impulsive um, minor and completing uh, thus basically the. Um, the intermediate fifth so that we can actually have that retracement on the ABCs uh, as I as I actually mentioned before if you did not um, if that if you don't know about this then uh, you can basically check the previous videos and uh, the previous analysis done it's all it all remains the same but one thing that I can say is that we're basically preparing for some strength temporary strength and breach of of this channel for for dollar index now the the trading setup today will will basically consist on an update on uh, on gold all right so going going on my charts here for for gold well, the first thing that I would like to uh, to actually point out is the 61.8 retracement on the fibonacci uh, fibonacci measurements right so we have it right here if you can actually see it okay so therefore 
<clears throat> I'm gonna zoom in. I'm not gonna go. Uh, I'm not gonna go all over this um, this wave count because um, I, I I've done that already. So there's no point. If you uh, if you wanna check it out, then uh, check. Obviously, you can see it from the previous videos. But let's zoom in. Okay, I'm on the four-hour chart right now. So basically, what I did, I used a Andrews pitchfork to determine basically. Um, the next breach. So as I said, I'm expecting dollar uh, dollar index to gain some strength. Therefore, gold to to basically drop. Now the trade that I um, <clears throat> that I posted and also that I mentioned before in the previous analysis and on the I posted on the website. By the way, on the website you can actually gain access to exclusive information and trading insights, uh, alerts, uh, and all that. So. Um, feel free to uh, visit the website uh, lionheart-cwa.com. Gain access basically by opening a free account, or if you choose, uh, if you will choose to get a subscription and get basically a membership for advanced services, by all means, you can check out services there. But enough about that. That's going to be your choice. So if you do want to expand your, your senses with receiving uh, trading insights, alerts, uh, signals, or even private trading sessions, etc., you can actually browse the, the services. So, uh, yeah, you can make the decision by yourself. But anyway, <clears throat> um, going back, going back on this analysis. OK, we have the um, we have the intermediate uh, the intermediate wave one two uh, then two right here and uh, basically the rest of the cycle. But the thing is that one thing, uh, one thing that I would like to say is that we do have a bearish divergence right here on the four-hour on the four-hour chart. Okay, so either this this fourth wave has been completed or it's going to unfold as a double zigzag W X Y right here and then completing basically the full, you know, another another cycle on the upside. Sorry. So. In other words, what I'm uh, what I'm going to look for is I do have a pending order right here, a limit order for for gold, just in case we do we will have another swing on the upside in the final one. However, I do believe that it's it's basically time for gold to drop. And by the look uh, by the look of this um, of this uh, pitchfork and then channels, okay, what we're basically waiting for right here is a flag formation. So. <clears throat> In other words, while while gold will uh, will uh, will drop, let's say if the dollar uh, is indeed gonna finalize the the the, the move and uh, gain strength right after, and of course we're expecting a drop on gold. So uh, we're we're basically what I'm gonna look for is a drop, and then the confirmation will come for a, from a flag formation. By flag formation, what I mean is. Uh, rising just a little bit and then you know uh, trying to uh, go inside the channel once more and then failing and continuation towards the second wave 61.8 retracement that's the mark point so um, <clears throat> when you, if you want to uh, uh, let's say, for example, if you want to trade with the trend, of course, this would be a high, high, very high probability for gold to rise uh, towards the third uh, third um, intermediate waves. Then of course this should be a major gainer for 2017 for you. But however, it does have to drop until there. So short-term wise, gold is a sell. Long-term wise, it's a buy at 1172 levels. This will be very important levels. So even if I um, even if I use a Fibonacci retracement from there towards the top, it will still point us out on a good scale. So 61.8 on a full cycle. Uh, from uh, from the A move, and then of course we have 50% right there. Okay, so as it's going to be here or even here. If we do, however, have another swing, then of course this will move just a little bit higher. So we shall we shall indeed we shall see we shall see what's uh, what's going to go on. So in other words, we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But one thing that I would like to uh, to say is that I prefer to be in the market. Uh, I would prefer to be in the market right now because this might be, of course, the end of the cycle and the the wave. So right now I'm selling. I'm I'm also I'm already in the trade, right? So we'll uh, we'll basically see how this trade would pan out if I zoom into the one hour chart. All right, we can actually see that the flag formation is 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 basically unfolding, right? So if we go if you go back on the on the actual uh, dollar index, right? We'll actually uh, we'll, we'll see, right? Let me just zoom in just a little bit for you guys. Okay, just give me one second. All right, there we go. Okay, so 
as I said, this might be this might be it because a new low point has been created. But we shall uh, we shall see. We need to zoom into the one-hour chart here as well, just for us to have the great, you know, the uh, better chances. And uh, let me let me just go into it. Okay. So we have we have a possible A B C towards four right here and unfolding towards this a one and then a retracement two and basically around around here at this uh, at this um, B formation uh, basically B within this uh, this A B C uh, we should have our uh, our move on the downside right so uh, quick entry quick entry point let's say for example uh, if you're trading dollar index, uh, watch out for 100.20. That should be your focus, and towards uh, towards there. But um, would would actually say that we would expect a bullish divergence, right? So keep an eye on that. Um, again, the the confirmation for this for this retracement will come once this will go up here, breaching the channel and coming back and forming a flag, right? After the flag, we're gonna go up. Right, and a, basically a temporary move, but should be quite uh, quite consistent in enough to actually give us this swing on the downside for gold and completing the um, the second uh, second wave. After that, then dollar index is expected, of course, to uh, soften, and then uh, you know gold should uh, should rise. So levels levels. Let's say my entry is already. Is, has already been uh, been made on uh, one two one six levels. However, if you're late within this trade, if you haven't uh, followed yet, obviously this would be your choice. But um, I would uh, I would actually say that one two one zero levels should be closely watched if you're looking to get into a quick trade for a sell setup on the short term wise. Let's say one week, two weeks, so we can actually have. A few, a few pips. Let's say a few units, 3,500, something like that. Uh, that would be the take profit target. All right. All right. Enough, enough for uh, for the analysis. We're gonna follow up. Stay in the green and many pips ahead. Thank you.